structure of kidneys at the end of this lesson you will be able to describe the external structure of the kidney including its location support structures and covering and identify the major internal divisions and structure of the kidney structure of kidneys introduction hey guys did you know that according to the united states department of agriculture a hundred gram serving of raw kidney beans contains about 24 grams of protein now that it made you all hungry we are not going to talk about the kidney bean though they are a good source of protein it is named for its visual resemblance in shape and for the red variety color to a human kidney yes bean shaped organs play a major role in filtering your blood and removing wastes moreover they are the very own laboratories in your body that check your blood continuously to ensure that the concentration of each electrolyte falls within the precise range that your body requires to work so let us dig deep and explore more about these organs in this video the urinary system the kidneys are a pair of bean shaped organs on either side of the spine in the retroperitoneal space between the parietal peritoneum and the posterior abdominal wall well protected by muscle fat and ribs the left kidney is located at about the t12 to l3 vertebrae whereas the right is lower due to a slight displacement by the liver further upper portions of the kidneys are protected by the 11th and 12th ribs next arising from the two kidneys are the two narrow tubes called ureters that carry urine from the kidneys to the bladder which runs parallel to the vertebral column gravity and peristalsis of smooth muscle tissue in the walls of the ureters move urine toward the urinary bladder the ends of the ureters extend slightly into the urinary bladder and are sealed at the point of entry to the bladder by the urethrovesical valves further these valves prevent urine from flowing back towards the kidneys next the urinary bladder a triangle shaped hollow organ is located in the lower abdomen it is held in place by ligaments that are attached to other organs and the pelvic bones and they are connected to the kidneys by the ureters moreover the walls of the bladder allow it to stretch to hold anywhere from 600 to 800 milliliters of urine the urethra is the tube through which urine passes from the bladder to the exterior of the body and the flow of urine through the urethra is controlled by the internal and external urethral sphincter muscles we will next look into the internal anatomy of a kidney internal anatomy of a kidney a frontal section through the kidney reveals an outer region called the renal cortex and an inner region called the medulla within the medulla there are five to eight renal pyramids divided by columns of the renal connective tissue also each pyramid creates urine and terminates into a renal papilla also each renal papilla drains into a collecting pool called a minor calyx several minor calyces connect to form a major calyx moreover all major calyces connect to the single renal pelvis which connects to the ureter further the central part presents a deep longitudinal fissure bounded by prominent overhanging anterior and posterior lips called the helum and transmits the vessels nerves and ureter nephrons are the tubular structural and functional units of a kidney further each nephron shows the following parts the malfeasian body proximal convoluted tubule henley's loop distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct and the malfeasian body shows a cup-shaped bowman's capsule which has a tuft of capillaries called the glomerulus 
conclusion. Okay, hope this video gave you an idea about the structure and the internal anatomy of the kidneys. The kidneys are complicated and amazing organs that do many essential tasks to keep us healthy. Some of the vital functions of your kidneys are to remove toxins and excess water from your blood, control your body's chemical balance, help control your blood pressure, help keep your bones healthy, and erythropoiesis, and it regulates the level of electrolytes in the blood like potassium. Potassium is an electrolyte whose concentration has to be within a narrow range for your heart to generate the normal electrical impulses. Moreover, abnormal levels of potassium in the blood cause an irregular rhythm, called arrhythmia, which is life-threatening and in a matter of seconds may cause a person to fall dead. But, under normal cases, this doesn't happen because when the blood potassium levels are elevated in the kidneys, the excess potassium is drained into the urine to keep the blood potassium levels stable. Summary Let us quickly summarize what we have learned today. The kidneys are a pair of bean-shaped organs on either side of the spine in the lateral peritoneal space between the parietal peritoneum and the posterior abdominal wall well protected by muscle, fat and ribs. The kidneys filter blood and form urine. They are part of the urinary system which also includes the ureters, bladder and urethra. And the anterior portion of the kidney contains an exterior area called the kidney cortex and an inner region called the kidney medulla. In the medulla, five to eight kidney pyramids are divided by the kidney columns. Each pyramid contains urine which ends up in a papilla on the renal. Renal papilla drains into a collection pool called a small calyx. Many minor calyxes join to create a broad calyx. All major calyxes attach to the single renal pelvis connecting to the ureter.